What's up everyone, this is Max Simplifier. Today I'm going to be showing you a video about how can you jailbreak iOS 5.0.1 and of course it's a, it's a tethered jailbreak because the untethered hasn't been released yet. So you're going to need the latest version of Retinal which is currently uh, version uh, 0.9.9b8. You're going to find the download link in the description below. Once you have this, applic once you have this application downloaded, next you need to download uh, iOS 5, the IPSW file. Now we need this file which is extremely important for the jailbreak of your iOS device. Uh, so I'm going to place in the description below a link to a website where it can show you um, uh, iOS 5 download links for the corresponding iOS device. Since I'm going to jailbreak my iPhone, I have the iOS 5 version for the iPhone over here. Okay, once you've downloaded the IPSW file and uh, the latest version of Retsnow, here's what you're going to do. You're going to plug in your iOS device into your Mac and switch it off and then uh, open up Retsnow. Once you open up Retsnow, you go to the extras and you select the IPSW file. And the file that we're going to choose is the file that you have downloaded, which is the iOS 5 IPSW for your corresponding iOS device. You're going to select it, and it's going to be used for the rest of this session, as it will be told by right now. Once that's done, you go back, you jailbreak, and you appear to jailbreak the... It will start patching the kernel and the jailbreak data and everything. So, so far so good. And of course, obviously, make sure that your iOS device has been updated to iOS 5.0.1 before switching it off. So once, once all of that is done, you press on install CDN and any other feature that you really want. I want to enable multitasking. And then press on next. And then over here you're going to enter the FU mode. If you press on next and you follow those instructions, most probably you're going to end up in recovery mode. So, uh, so to easily get into the FU mode, I have placed a video, link with, a video link to a video I've also made about how can you easily and always enter the FU mode without entering recovery mode. Once that's done, your iOS device has been jailbroken. But uh, once it has rebooted, you're going to find CD as a white icon and it won't open up. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to, uh, if Red Snow closes after the jailbreak, open it up again. Go to the extras one more time and select the IPSW once again. Now, every time, uh, please notice this very carefully, every time you get to reboot your iOS device so that you can enable the Tether jailbreak Every time you do that, you have to go to the extras first, and then you have to select the IPSW file, which is the iOS 5 um, iOS version for your corresponding iOS device. Make sure that you always make that step before you reboot your iOS device and enable the Tether jailbreak. And once you've done that, it will be used for the rest of the session, and then press on just boot, uh, enter the DFU mode into your iOS device, Okay, by following the instructions, or preferably, uh, what I have advised to watch the video I have made about how can you easily and always enter the FU mode. Unlike this, it has been reboot. Uh, like this, you have enabled the tethered jailbreak. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please don't subscribe, and if you have any comments, leave it below.